Okay. So, Wilson Morales, Black Femme TV. Not a lot of time. We have three people. So I'm going to go off and start saying, hey, every episode is a different chapter. You know, it's a, it's a, we don't know what we're getting from episode one to the last episode. So let's talk about the evolutions of your characters with Emeralda. Emerald. <laughs> Emerald. Yes. Um, I, it's just so fun to see Lily, how she starts in the show. She's a mess. She just broke up with her perfect on paper boyfriend, which is hard to do, you know, and she's uh, kind of struggling between her family traditions and the way that she views life. So it's really interesting um, for all of us, uh, uh, young people, uh, young women, especially just to, that pressure that we get from society and from our parents and our family of like how our life is supposed to be, but should we really follow those rules? So it's really nice to just see kind of her growth on how she's starting to determine life to, for herself, what she wants and the rules she's setting. So it's really nice to see that those ups and downs from this character. <laughs> Desmond? Oh. You start off happy-go-lucky, you know, and <laughs> we see things change. <laughs> so, Just you know, a little so, bit. So let's talk about your character. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the the sad Uga ride time. Um, look, he, Nick, Nick, is, Nick is one of those types that just conflates love and sex at the beginning when we first meet him. Those two things are like one and the same for him, and that's not a way to go through life, you know, and he, he learns that pretty, pretty quick. Um, you know, obviously he is capable of love. I don't think he thinks about it. He, he obviously has like, there is a love between like him and, and Jorge, you know, the character Mark plays. That's kind of instinctual from them having this relationship. But in terms of romantic love, this dude doesn't have a clue. But yeah, he's going to get a clue. He's going to get a clue. But right now, real quick, <laughs> he's going to learn real fast. You know, and then his role. You know, obviously, you start off on the depression level, but things rise from there. You know, <laughs> yes. yeah, I, I think it was interesting. We started that point with with Santiago, um, and we see his relationship progress with his dad, and we get to see how how impactful that is for him and the dynamic between them, which is also really special. That he's kind of his best friend, but also his dad, which is unique. And then from there, you know, we we kind of understand his perspective on love, and we see these near misses with Lily and Santiago and we just as a viewer want them to meet and then when they do it's kind of like sparks but then it's kind of like oh wait a second you you don't think the same way that I do and so we see these characters kind of figure it out and, and at some point you know hopefully they can figure it out to stay together or maybe not you know and so it's a very rewarding I feel like experience for for an actor but also for the viewers to see if things work out. <laughs> and around, I'm going to let you finish this off as far as, you know, there's a lot of series out there about love, holiday yeah. romances, but this is a series. What's a good reason to check this out? Oh, because it's a sexy rom-com with a lot of sexy people. That's a good enough reason to watch it. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a show with an extremely diverse cast with fully dimensional characters. It's it's a show, a show about romance in, in, in um, also different age ranges. So it's really nice that the whole family could sit down and really watch um, different people fall in love. You see? Very perfect. <laughs> Where are we at, guys? Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Let's hopefully we get a season two. All right, thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Wilson. Bye.